So Lucy, were there any bets that you wish you would have made in last night's national championship game? Oh my God, you guys. So my book of all the bets I should have made is very thick this morning. <laughs> to all the bets, I, I am full of regrets this morning. I am just, I should get the, the no regrets, all regrets <laughs> tattoo. I am all regrets today because I had UNC Moneyline. I did have the under, but why I did UNC Moneyline absolutely had to have been the Duke hangover. I was so happy that they took down Duke. I had to take their money line, but I thought back this morning to when Abaji and Remy Martin did the, they recreated Gronk and Brady's a uh, bad boys for life video. And I thought at that moment, I have to take Kansas the rest of the way here. And then I just forgot about it. Like I forgot about that video. And now I'm thinking I am so dumb. I should have taken Kansas money line. It's also great when you go to bed at halftime, the team you bet on money line wise has a nice little lead going and you wake up and you see greatest comeback in March Madness history. I like, great, fantastic, just fantastic. Just all regrets, just tattoo that just on my forehead. All fantastic. regrets. All regrets today with that, except for the under. Thank you to the under, but my God, whatever. So, it's great, great comeback. Uh, Lucy, so let me ask you, because you always throw something like this in, and I think it's fascinating because it works for you. I know you look at numbers and you certainly study different things like the rest of us, but you also take into account videos that you see, social media hints. You, oh, yeah. I know you take that into consideration. Well, so how much of that is part of how much you influence or how much it influences how you bet? In every case, but this one, pretty much 100% because somehow I forgot about this video. <laughs> but social media wise, now that we are in the age of technology and athletes have a bigger platform, we can see more of where an athlete's mind is and what they're thinking. And a lot of times that is reflected on social media. So a video like this kind of shows me, if I had bet on Kansas, I would be you know, celebrating today. But um, this shows me where their mind is and how cohesive they are as a team, that they can do something like this. And it, it you know brings them together. Brady and Gronk did this, and then they won the Super Bowl. So this shows me that this this team ha can have fun. They are loose, but they are also buckle down. And they are if you're good and you do things like this, that just is two pieces of a puzzle together. That's fantastic. But I'm just regretting that. But it, it's just everything. Like everything you see on social media is a hint to something based on what we have seen throughout the years of athletes on social media. So I absolutely factor that into every bet I make. All right, Lucy, it's a huge week in sports. We have MLB opening day and also we have the Masters. So it's time to read between the lines because Tiger Woods put out a statement saying that he was a game time decision for the Masters. So let's read into that. What does that mean? He wants to play. He wants to play. I think he will play. And he obviously wants to play, but he's still on the list of media availability this morning at 11. He's on the list. So as of now, I would say he's going to play. But if you are placing a bet on him to win, that's I'm not one to talk about betting with your heart, but that's that's a heart bet because I don't see how he's going to win the Masters. However, this is the year of the comeback, as we saw last night, as we have seen with a lot of other things with uh, Tom Brady coming back from retirement um, and Justin Berlander coming back from injury. Tiger Woods coming back from one of the more horrific car crashes we have seen, especially from an athlete. And he survived that. He People were saying, will he ever walk again? He is more than walking now. He could play in the Masters. So I don't know that he will win, but I do think he will play because he's, he's Tiger Woods. Yes, he's going to play, but I don't think he'll win. We're talking with Lucy Burge, BetQL writer and host of Back to the Futures each Sunday night on BetQL. Lucy, so in the American League East, I have a future on the Blue Jays at 11 to 1 to win the World Series. You have a future on the Red Sox at 18 to 1 to win the World Series. So tell me why your Red Sox are going to win it all this year. 
They have the greatest infield that has maybe ever been assembled in Major League oh. Baseball history. Ooh. Trevor Story has breathed so much life into this team, and it is Heim Bloom saying to this team, I believe in you, and we are going to make it all the way this year. Chris Sale is going to come back better than ever. He is calling out Yankees and Astros and all over the place and saying they're not the only ones who are cheating, and he is real talk Chris Sale this year. So he has to come back. I have my little list of all my future futures bets very official i have the red sox at plus 2200 to win the world series i have them also to win the al east at plus 550 that's gonna happen so i am all in on this team and <laughs> i think they are rejuvenated they had a taste of the uh, almost world series last season and i think they are really ready now to taste that again but to make that push all the way to the world series this year all right, Lucy. So you got some more bets for baseball. Let's hear them. Okay. So I have those two. Plus I have Otani, AL MVP, my absolute favorite. Like I, I, every bet I make on any K prop, it's going to be Otani over. That's my most consistent K prop bet this season. Absolutely is going to be Otani over everything. He is, he, he's unstoppable. This guy is just it, watching him pitch or hit or anything, but especially pitch is just exciting. It just like makes you, I don't even know, like describe the feeling of watching Otani pitch, but it's incredible. He just enjoys playing the game and he's happy to be there. And that's kind of rare these days where players are always about the money. And of course they are, but Otani's just happy to be there and he it's, it's contagious really. So Otani with the contagious AL MVP plus 400 Freddie Freeman, NL MVP, new team, new you, plus 1,200, but also sprinkle a little bit on Mookie Betts, plus 900 for NL MVP. <laughs> I was like, where does the former Red Sox get in? Ah, there it is. Uh, okay, yep, good. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go that. yep. I was like, it's got to be there Betts. somewhere. So let me just ask you, is there anything else on this trusty notepad of yours, Lucy, that we should know about? What is another future? It can be any bet on the sheet. It can be any sport, something you jotted down, because this is official that you like that we should know about. The Celtics to win the finals, the championship this year. <laughs> okay. Because Doctor. also, talk about tattoos, the guy who got the banner tattoo got a Boston Celtics banner 2022 national champions or whatever, NBA champions um, tattoo. He might not look so dumb because the Celtics are not in the worst spot right now. So I'm thinking Celtics to win the finals. And All right, Lucy. This, and maybe the Bruins Stanley Cup. <gasps> I've I'll add that to the notepad. On April the 1st, you tweeted, and I quote, the Yankees are going to win the World Series. I am aware that it was April 1st, but do you know how the power that your tweets hold? Are you going to be mad if the Yankees win the World Series and you actually predicted it? I there think are, this is on you. There are so many bozos out there that don't own calendars because the replies, <laughs> I'm like, guys, it's April Fool's Day and I'm trying a nice little joke here and everyone's like, oh, that's not going to happen. No way. I'm like, yeah, are you kidding? Like, no, it's not going to happen. That's why it's a joke. Um, if they do win the World Series, though, I will quote tweet that with a little check mark. Maybe and be like, hey, guys, I did predict this. So maybe I will lean into it if they do win the World Series, which would be the worst case scenario. I might do that and then uh, maybe go back to my fireplace and in it. <laughs> Lucy, what are the chances that you can bring the word bozo back and make it something that we all use from now on? It's a great on? word. It's, it's a, great a great word. word. <laughs> so yeah, all the bozos who don't own, all the, all the as Post Malone said, all the clowns and all the bozos, um, that they thought that that was a real tweet. And so maybe invest in a calendar or three for around your home, please. Because maybe look at your phone calendar for a bit and see what day it is. Because that tweet... Uh, was not in uh, sincerity. But if they win, yeah, I'll take credit. I think BetQL's little graphic that they tweet with a quote should say, look at your calendars, bozos. <laughs> and say, Lucy Bird, <laughs> and a picture of you smiling. Head I think on a that swivel. Would Everybody keep your head on a swivel because Julian Edelman, actually, he ruined this April Fool's prank because he tweeted out a, a nice little graphic of him going to the Buccaneers, but then he put April Fool's at the bottom. So yeah, you're, it's a little bit too big. Make it tiny, like super, super tiny, asterisk April Fool's, because he made it too big, and you see it right away, and you're like, oh, obviously, this is April Fool's. Jeez. Right. The they problem do better, is, Edelman. Everybody can make their own graphics now. Like, everybody has access to you know their own little graphics. So yeah, you got to keep your head on a swivel. But we tease this, and apparently you have a problem with me saying 
Justin Verlander is like the Tom Brady of baseball. Because listen, look at how old he is. Look at how he keeps striking guys out. He's got a supermodel wife. He's making a ton of money. Tell me where I'm wrong. No, I had no problem with this. I agree with you. Because of his age, because of Kate Upton, because of the comeback, that's why I'm also going with uh, overs on his K-props. I'm very excited to see how he does this season because he could be the Tom Brady of baseball right now with this comeback because of his age especially. So I did, I very much like that comparison. Right, and he's found the fountain of youth before. Because exactly. I thought to myself, you know, when he went to the Astros, I was like, there's no way he can, t- can continue at this pace. But he saw some doctor that Kate Upton knew in New York, and all of a sudden he's striking out guys. And plus, mm-hmm. going to the Astros. I don't know what the Astros pitching coaches know, but everybody seems to be pitching well when they go to Houston. Well, when you're big trash cans, it's it's easy to to tell which pitch is which. So they really <laughs> have oh, that's for the hitters. Out. That's for the hitters. It's not for they've the got, they've, they've always got something cooking. Those bozos. They've got something cooking. Bozos. <laughs> Those bozos. Those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the calendar, bozo. Uh, she is Lucy Burge. She's Becky O'Reilly. You can find her on Twitter at Lucille Burge and troll her for her Yankees take on April Please 1st. Do. Host of Back to the Future each and every Sunday night on BetQL. Lucy, thanks for joining us, and please do not jump in your fireplace. I will not. Thank you very much.